Good evening, welcome to our evening prayer on the 5th of November. Time for some fireworks, I reckon. That should keep the dogs upset. Let's come before the Lord. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Bless to you, Sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. ever. <clears throat> now as darkness is falling, <coughs> wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom where songs of praise for ever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 137 We were sitting by the rivers of Babylon. We wept when we remembered what had happened to Zion. On the nearby poplar trees we hung our harps. Those who held us as prisoners asked us to sing. Those who enjoyed hurting us ordered us to sing joyful songs. They said, sing one of the songs of Zion to us. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while we are in another land? Jerusalem, if I forget you, may my right hand never be able to play the harp again. If I don't remember you, may my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth so I can't sing. May it happen if I don't consider Jerusalem to be my greatest joy. Lord, remember what the people of Edom did on the day Jerusalem fell. Tear it down, they cried. Tear it to the ground. People of Babylon, your sentence to be destroyed. Happy is the person who pays you back according to what you have done to us. Happy is the person who grabs your babies and smashes them against the rocks. Psalm 138 Lord, I will praise you with all my heart. In front of those who think they are gods, I will sing praise to you. I will bow down facing your holy temple. I will praise your name because you are always loving and faithful. You have honoured your holy word even more than your own fame. When I called out to you, you answered me. You made me strong and brave. May all the kings on earth praise you when they hear about what you have decided. Lord, may they sing about what you have done, because your glory is great. Though the Lord is high above all, he cares for the lowly. Though he is in heaven above, he sees them on earth below. Trouble is all around me, but you keep me alive. You reach out your hand to put a stop to the anger of my enemies. With your powerful right hand, you save me. Lord, you will show that I was right to trust you. Lord, your faithful love continues forever. You have done so much for us, so don't stop now. Psalm 143 Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. You are faithful and right. Come and help me. Don't take me to court and judge me, because in your eyes no living person does what is right. My enemies chase me. They crush me down to the ground. They make me live in the darkness like those who died long ago. So I grow weak. Deep down inside me I'm afraid. 
I remember what happened long ago. I spend time thinking about all your acts. I consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you in prayer. I'm thirsty for you, just as dry ground is thirsty for rain. Lord, answer me quickly. I'm growing weak. Don't turn your face away from me, or I'll be like those who go down into the grave. In the morning, let me hear about your faithful love, because I put my trust in you. Show me the way I should live, because I trust you with my life. Lord, save me from my enemies, because I go to you for safety. Teach me to do what you want, because you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a level path. Lord, bring yourself honour by keeping me alive, because you do what is right. Get me out of trouble, because your love is faithful. Put an end to my enemies. Destroy all of them, because I serve you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Daniel chapter 3, verses 19 to 30. Then Nebuchadnezzar was very angry with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. The look on his face changed, and he ordered that the furnace be heated seven times hotter than usual. He also gave some of the strongest soldiers in his army a command. He ordered them to tie up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Then he told his men to throw them into the blazing furnace. So they were tied up. Then they were thrown into the furnace. They were wearing their robes, pants, turbans and other clothes. The king's command was carried out quickly. The furnace was so hot that its flames killed the soldiers who threw Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego into it. So the three men were firmly tied up and they fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leapt to his feet. He was so amazed he didn't ask his advisers, didn't we tie up these three men, didn't we throw them three men into the fire? Yes, we did, your majesty, they replied. The king said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire. They aren't even tied up and the fire hasn't even harmed them. The fourth man looked like a son of the gods. And the king approached the opening of the blazing furnace. He shouted, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, come out. You who serve the Most High God, come here. So they came out of the fire. The royal rulers, high officials, governors and advisers crowded around them. They saw that the fire hadn't harmed their bodies. Not one hair on their heads was burned. Their robes weren't burned either, and they didn't even smell like smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, May the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants. They trusted in him. They refused to obey my command. They were willing to give up their lives. They would rather die than serve or worship any God except their own. No other God can save his people this way. So I'm giving an order about the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. No one may say anything against him. That's true no matter what language they speak. If they say anything against him, they'll be cut to pieces and their houses will be turned into piles of trash. And the king honoured Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He gave them higher positions in the city of Babylon and the towns around it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. 
we have come before God's holy mountain to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God who is judge of all, before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, so let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Revelation chapter 3 verses 14 to 22 Here is what I command you to write to the church in Laodicea. Here are the words of Jesus who is the Amen. What he speaks is faithful and true. He rules over what God has created. He says, I know what you are doing. I know you aren't cold or hot. I wish you were either one or the other, but you are lukewarm. You aren't hot or cold. So I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. You say I'm rich. I've become wealthy and don't need anything. But you don't realise how pitiful and miserable you have become. You were poor, blind and naked. So here is my advice. Buy from me gold made pure by fire. Then you will become rich. Buy from me white clothes to wear. Then you will be able to cover the shame of your naked bodies. And buy from me the healing lotion to put on your eyes then you will be able to see. I warn and correct those I love, so be sincere and turn away from your sins. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. I will eat with that person and they will eat with me. Here is what I will do for anyone who has victory over sin. I will give that person the right to sit with me on my throne. In the same way, I had victory. Then I sat down with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears should listen to what the Holy Spirit says to the churches. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham 
and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Lord, we thank you for the day now, drawing into evening, as we thank you for all that this day has been, as we thank you for the blessings that we have seen this day, as we thank you for the joys, as we thank you for the challenges. Lord, we know that you are with us, you are for us, and that if you are for us, who can be against us? What can overcome us? So though we struggle and though we toil, eternity with you is ours. Glory, grace, peace and mercy reside within us, around us and before us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we pray for the peace of the world this night in so many places, in so many ways. We pray for America, where a black jogger who was chased by three white men and murdered was in the case against these men today, shown running, shown being grabbed, being attacked and being shot and Lord as the words of those who killed them are heard so too are the words of the police who appear to be comforting and supporting those who shot the black man Father God Georgia has such a wonderfully awful reputation for racism for putting black lives cheaply and it seems that once again that's the case. We pray that justice will be done, that the obvious around us might not be obvious. But Lord, as we, as we pray for peace in America this night, we pray for dialogue and we pray for unity, that the United States would find out what the word united means, that the United States will be one. The United States would seek justice for all colours, all creeds, all people. And Father, for a, a nation that has so much of its history bound up in the killing of Native Americans and the taking of their land, as was the same in Australia and New Zealand, as was the same in so many places where our United Kingdom, our British history has taken us also. Father, we pray for the places this night where there is conflict, where peace is needed. And Lord, we, we pray for the divisions between Israel and Palestine. Lord, we pray for the problems in Afghanistan, the tensions in the Middle East, for the things that are Libya, that are Tunisia, that are Morocco. Father God, we pray for the places of the world where there is trouble, where there is travail, where there is bloodshed. And Father God, we lift to you also that in America and the matters of law and order, justice and all that is missing in that place. We pray for Europe and the conflict between it and the United Kingdom. And as the UK threatens to trigger Article 16, the European Commission Vice President Marcus Sefcovic has warned 
that there will be serious consequences. Lord, we stand at the brink of division. Our word of this nation appears to be worth nothing. And the conflict between us and the Europeans appears to be increasing, growing in so many ways. We pray for peace between us and the world. We pray for all that is happening in Australia, giving thanks that Cleo came back after 18 days of being apparently seized by a man. And as we cheer that, we still find that the AUKUS debacle goes on. Lord, bring your peace this night. Bring your comfort this night to all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father God, we pray as we often do for your church we pray for the new bishop of swansea and brecon a man who served for 12 years in the royal navy as an aircraft engineer father we thank you for his appointment we thank you that we have people who have seen who have been, who have done other things and then become clergy, become priests, become bishops. Lord, may this man and his background, may it bring blessing and unity and peace and joy to those. And Father God, as we pray for the church, we pray for this weekend that it might be a weekend where the church makes you known in so many ways and in a day where once upon a time the church was praying until 1859 for all that Guy Fawkes and the gunpowder plot was giving thanks that the king overcame those attacks father we pray that church would always stand with peace not conflict Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the people we know and love. We pray for Margaret, and for John and the family. We pray for Maureen Williams and her family and all that is happening in her life. For Jane and Richard, for Colin and Kath, for Sue and Rog. For Graham and Gillian. We pray for Betty and for Beryl, for Derek, for Molly, for Mary, for Enid, for Estheline, for the so many people we know and care about. We pray for those this day who have lost loved ones through Covid and we're tonight listing another 193 deaths as we head towards 142,000 deaths. There's another 34,000 cases occurred in the last 24 hours. We pray for those with diagnosis, those awaiting treatment, those who need a touch from you in body, mind, spirit, circumstance and situation. Lord, we lift to you all on our hearts and minds this night. For Elaine and for Olive, as she cares for her. For those we know who are pregnant, those we know who have recently given birth. And for those who struggle with young families with needs. Father God, we lift to you now, all on our hearts. Asking you to be God in their lives, in all that they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love that, as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. 
through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, Bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being with us. Have a good evening. Stay safe. And if we can help, you know where we are. Take care. Catch you soon. Bye.